just merge them if there's information there. David Shepherd has been researching his family for 15 years. Why did you start researching your family history? Well, it was um, mainly, I think, because in 1995 we were given a present by a friend of ours of a computer program that was a family tree program. And we'd been talking about it from time to time, but this was the um, incentive, if you will, to start typing in what we knew. And then we realised how much we didn't know. Mm -hmm. So that's where we started. Right. But she seems to be about the right years. Oh, it's, uh, it's, it doesn't happen on there anymore. I've done something to the programme. Right. I mean, 2009 is a much better programme. Yeah. It... When you start researching, what's the first step, the first thing you do? Well, the first thing you do is to ask living people about what they know, but that can be very dangerous because family myths grow up and you can often find that uh, what you're told isn't accurate. So then you start with birth certificates and marriage certificates and you keep going back because the marriage certificate will give you the name of the, the parent of the bride, the parent of the bridegroom, and then you go back to birth certificates. So you work back using those two. In practical terms, what difference has the internet made to researching family history? Oh, it's made an absolutely massive difference. There is no comparison. In the days before the internet, um, it involved going to London initially, um, to two different places, one to look at births, marriages and deaths, and the other had completely different building to look at census records. And then, of course, once you got back as far as you could, then it involved travelling perhaps over the, around the country to visit a church to get parish records, um, which was fun, but also vastly time-consuming. Oh, this is Kate um, It's so much simpler now. How far could most people expect to be able to trace back their families? It's fairly easy to get back to 1837, when the birth, marriage and death registers were compiled and started. Most people can get back there. Um, with a little bit more work involving parish registers, you can usually get back to the late 1700s and it gets progressively more difficult after that. It's easier if you have an unusual name, and it's easier if they come from a small village as opposed to London. <laughs> oh, I can't make out to tell you this. You don't have to. I'm not very okay with this. Uh... How far back have you managed to trace your family? Well, one particular branch, thanks to the very helpful um, material from a lady in Oxfordshire, I've got back to 1490. But this is only because that particular branch um, were somewhat better off than the others, so there were wills left and uh, records of um, business deals and things like that. But that's an awful lot of hard work, and this lady was, must have spent years and years researching it and very generously shares it with, um, with me and other people.